have the cutest idea. So Matryoshka dolls, otherwise known as nesting dolls, are very popular and I'm sure you've seen them. And what I did is I took a blank and I turned it into all the ladies from my family, which I think is a fun idea and you can certainly do this. And the backs of all of these dolls then have the initials of each of the people on it as well. So that's a super fun way to do it. So how do we start? Well, the first thing is I just sort of listed out who I wanted to include because my blank comes with five different dolls. And so I listed it out, I drew little pictures, and then I thought about what are each of the determining factors for each of the people. And you can even see, like I wrote about my mom, that she should have bangs and freckles so that I knew that was what I wanted. And then I did a couple little sketches where I sort of decided what is each person gonna have? What's a defining thing? My grandma loves flowers, so she got flowers. My mom loves the newspaper, so she got a newspaper. You know, my cousin has a dog, all that kind of stuff. So. Once that's set and you've done all your little sketches just to figure out what you want to do, you're ready to get to the making. So you can buy blank dolls like this. And if I open it up, you'll see that inside, right, it's just a series of nesting dolls that you can put together. I do like to work on this together so that the two halves are going to match. Then I want to use a paint marker to go on here. And I'm using a paint marker which has two different tips, which allows me to do two different things. So the big wide chisel tip is going to allow me to do some sort of paint painting, whereas the fine tip is going to allow me to do a little more kind of detail work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to, this is not hard drawing, I'm just going to go ahead and sort of sketch in a basic kind of face shape. And it's going to look kind of childlike. I'm leaving a hole for the eyes. Anywhere that you want to be really startling white, you kind of want to leave white. I'm not even going to do a very good job coloring. And that's fine because we're going to build this in layers. I'm not giving a neck or anything else. This is looking very Frankenstein-y. And if you're worried that it doesn't look that good, then you're doing it right, okay? And once I've done that and I have my little eye holes left, then I might go ahead and put in some lips. And now I'm using the detail tip where before I was using the, the bigger tip. And I'm gonna go ahead and give her some little lips. Nothing too fancy. I think my grandma should always wear some lipstick like that. You can also get pretty fancy because for instance, you can add some highlights. So now I'm gonna take the wide tip on the white and I'm gonna get sort of the bridge of the nose highlight or maybe some of the brow bone highlight. Maybe give her chin a little highlight. When you're doing a face, what you wanna think about is anything that sticks out on your face. If you feel it, like my nose sticks out so I know it has a highlight. My chin sticks out so I know it has a highlight. You can hit the tops of ears, you can hit foreheads, whatever sticks out on your face. You can even, I personally think my grandma's like the cutest little thing ever. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her some little rosy cheeks, okay, just like so, and it's gonna look pretty basic. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add flowers. So this again does not have to be particularly complicated. First I wanna add, I'm just picking out my colors here, I think I wanna add some hands. Hands, we're gonna understand that they're hands even though they're not gonna quite look like hands. We're just gonna draw four fingers as if they're holding flowers and again on the other side and then we're gonna fix it all up. So once I've done that, then I'm ready to go ahead and I'm working again with the wide tip because I just wanna get a swath of color on here. So I'm just sort of adding little yellow centers and then maybe going a little crazy with some orange. Again, nothing too detailed. I'm gonna go ahead, I have three different colors of green to work with. Maybe I'll use the smaller tip here to get some stems going for some flowers, some leaves, all that kind of stuff. And I have one where I've already done all of that work. So here you can see that I have all, everything sketched in, including her hair. So now I'm gonna move on to my black paint marker and I'm gonna take that detailed side and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add in some of those details. So here her eyes are starting to come alive. She's alive. And remember that drawing should be fun. It's not about making it right or photorealistic. It's just about having a good time and making something that people are gonna look at at love. It's also not about coloring within the lines. So even though that's how her chin looks, I'm not even worried about that. I'm going to just go ahead and do whatever I feel like doing when I'm there. And even if the lines don't match up 
or slightly different, it's totally okay. In fact, I like that look where things slightly are off. I think it makes it more interesting. Even the flowers are super fun and easy to do. I don't have to pay too much attention to what I previously did. I can just go ahead and add in all those little details like that and the leaves, they'll all come alive. And if we look at the finished one for just a second, you'll see what a difference all that black really makes. Now on the back, what I've done is I've started this initial, which her name is Vera, so it starts with a V. And you'll notice something, which is this is made up of many colors very badly colored in. But this is the amazing thing about black, which is if I simply come in and do, let's say, just a quick line around here, and I only even have to do half of it. Then this yellow stripe, if I just add circles like this right around here, suddenly this is gonna come alive and you're not gonna notice that it was a line. And I can even go ahead and just add the outline to the V, not being particularly careful, because again, we're looking for something that looks hand-drawn and interesting and fun. And then I can even, if I want, take a paint marker and add in a decorative pattern to the background, like so. That just sort of fades in. And if you look at the finished one here, what you'll see is that that pattern looks good, those circles look good, all those different colors, you don't really notice them, they just kind of work. So, I hope you will take a moment to put your family on some little Matryoshka dolls. It's a great gift, it's a great keepsake, and it's a really fun project to do.